Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of our life to our pastor, Pastor Wesley Person. On this morning, we thank God for each and every one of you that have joined us on the conference call, on the social media, and different platforms on this morning. This is the way we praise him. We praise him through clapping our hands. We praise him through a holy dance. Amen. People got a lot of dances going on out there in the world, but we praise him in a holy dance according to the scriptures amen praise the lord amen praise god and we come with our hallelujahs somebody just shout hallelujah right now hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah we come with our thank you jesus glory to your name oh god oh god we come we come we come blessing your name giving you praise we come giving you glory we come giving you honor we also come with our thank you jesus do anybody got a thank you jesus do anybody got a thank you jesus in the house thank you jesus thank you god thank you god for your love thank you god for your kindness 
Thank you, God, for your tender mercies. God, you've been so good to us. God, you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Yes, and Lord. And Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the wonderful name of Jesus. For there is no other name that we know. Yes, we see Missionary Mamie's in the studio. We saw her that there early on. Amen. And she is ready. Amen. To do the prayer for us today. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I just wanted just to send a, a charge in the atmosphere of praise, a charge of worship in the atmosphere. Why? Because God is worthy to be praised. So that's why we came in cupping our hands. Amen. The word of the Lord declares, clap your hands, oh, all you people, and shout with the voice of triumph. Oh, yes, God has been good. And every now and then, your voice will raise a little bit because when you begin to think <laughs> about the goodness of Jesus and all. and all that he's done for you, nobody else can tell your story like you can tell it. Mm. Nobody else knows what you go through in your mind, mentally, uh, emotionally, um, physically and socially, but you know, you yes, know Lord. what God yes, brought you through aye, 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 just aye. this morning. You know what God brought you through this week. And we're going to start out with our prayer, our opening prayer. I'm going to Missionary Mamie. And we say good morning to you, Missionary Mamie. Good morning, Pastor and Thank First Lady. You Thank you for this honor to come Thank before you, you in prayer. And we can't hear you, Missionary Mamie. Ah, uh, can't hear me? Can't yes, hear me? we can hear you. You can hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay, good morning to you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to come before you in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord Jesus, just to say thank you, just to see another day, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for all that you have blessed us with, Lord Jesus. We, Lord, we thank you for keeping our minds stayed on you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you to continue to cover us with your blessed spirit your Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Continue to bless us with the, the will of you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you to look upon everyone all over the world, Lord Jesus. Touch their mind in some way, Lord Jesus, to let them know that you are there for them, Lord Jesus. I thank him every day, Lord Jesus. I thank you every day, Lord Jesus, because I know you are in my heart, in my soul, in my mind. Because I know that I have the victory with you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you to keep covering us with your blood, Lord Jesus, touching the families in bereavement, Lord Jesus, as we move from day to day without our loved ones, Lord Jesus. Give us comfort, Lord Jesus. Let us mourn, Lord Jesus, in a way that it won't destroy us, Lord Jesus. But Lord, we want to share love, Lord Jesus. Let them know that we still love you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you today, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you to continue to cover the different ones in doing their vaccines, Lord Jesus. Touch their body, heal their body with any ailments that come upon them when they take the vaccine, Lord Jesus. Let positive words come out from this vaccine, Lord Jesus. We know there will be some deaths, Lord Jesus, but don't let it be contributed to this vaccine, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We want you to continue continue to uplift us in you, Lord Jesus. We want the pastors to keep on uplifting their members, Lord Jesus. Let them come back into their fold, Lord Jesus. The ones that have left their churches, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask in you, Lord Jesus, because some of them are dealing with depression, Lord Jesus. They need you, Lord Jesus, to give them strength, Lord Jesus. Send the pastors their way, Lord Jesus, that they can teach them what they need to know, Lord Jesus, to keep their minds elevated in you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, I thank you for my life from this to this day, Lord Jesus. I know you have recovered, Lord Jesus, in many ways that I cannot see, Lord Jesus. You get your arms of protection around me and my family, Lord Jesus. But Lord, we thank you for the trials and the tribulations that we're going through, Lord Jesus. Because you say there will be trials and tribulations. But we're going to make it through the trials and tribulations, Lord Jesus. Because we are putting them before you, Lord Jesus. We are raising up our voices to you in prayer right now, Lord Jesus, that you are giving us the arms of protection, Lord 
Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for our mothers of the church, Lord Jesus. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for them, Lord Jesus, how they continue to build, Lord Jesus. Build our minds, Lord Jesus. Give us what we need, Lord Jesus. We thank you for our first ladies, Lord Jesus. Continue to be standing by their their husbands, Lord Jesus, doing their ministry, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We ask you to continue to cover us. Cover us, Lord Jesus. We know the times of tribulation is soon to come, Lord Jesus. But we're going to be here waiting to be caught up with you lord jesus we're keeping our minds stayed on you our mm. minds meditating on you lord jesus yes. so we will be caught up in the twinkling mm. of our eye lord jesus yes. and we will be with you lord jesus mm. we will see our heavenly father lord jesus but lord we thank you we thank you lord jesus for all that you've done we lift up our hands unto the hills we come and help i have come from you lord jesus hey my my mind my mind is stayed on you lord jesus i want your minds to be stayed on him lord jesus because he is our keeper he is our way maker he is our deliverer yeah. <laughs> glory lord jesus i thank you for bringing us back home safely lord jesus as we journeyed lord jesus we are made it back home safe lord jesus but i want to say hallelujah and thank you jesus <laughs> thank you jesus in your name your blessed name in jesus name Amen. Mama Shandere. Amen. Mama Babo Kika Rabashika. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you so much, missionary. Yes, Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank As you, Lord. As you continue Lord. on. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. yes, Lord. yes Thank Lord. you, Lord. We thank you. Mm. God bless you, missionary Mamie. Continue Amen. to let the Lord use you in these unprecedented yeah. times. Mm. Amen. Now I will be reading the scripture coming from John the fourth chapter. Amen. Verses mm. one through four. The word of the Lord reads, but it displeased Jonah exceedingly. Mm. And he was very angry. And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, mm. was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Mm. Therefore, I fled before unto Tashus. For I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repentance, the of the evil. Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me, for it's better for me to die than to live. Verse 4. Then said the lord does thou well to be angry mm. the word of the lord is blessed Amen. may it be a nourishment to your souls on today in the name of our lord jesus god bless you <laughs> amen praise ye the lord the lord is so good and he is so worthy to be praised he is just so worthy to be magnified he is so mm -hmm. worthy to be uplifted i just want you to just attack somebody and put in the comment section Hallelujah. Just type real quick. Hallelujah. I know if we was in the sanctuary, I probably could see you shout hallelujah or to say hallelujah. But I want you just to type good morning, Pastor Jackson. Good morning, Sister Gwen. I just want somebody just to be connected with me to say God is worthy of another hallelujah. Mm. God is worthy of another praise. Come mm. on. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank hallelujah. you. God deserves the glory. Yes, he deserves Lord. all mm. of the honor in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Come on, let's give God some praise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, he's ah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. oh, yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. I see your hallelujah, Pastor hallelujah. Jackson. I see your hallelujah, Sister Carly. I see your hallelujah, hallelujah. missionary Mamie. Oh, Sister Hinton, I, I see your hallelujah. 
Sister Bounty, I see you. Hallelujah. Sister Graham, I hallelujah. see you. Hallelujah. Guess what? God sees our hallelujahs. Hallelujah. And as our hallelujah, whoa, oh, God is blessing right now. He's healing right now. He's delivering right, right now. now. He's doing something great in you right hallelujah. now. We thank you for the right now praise. We thank you for the right now glory, 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 hallelujah. I feel the joy bells ringing in my soul. So on this morning, anybody else can relate? Hallelujah. Do you have any glad, glad, glad reaching deep down in your soul? I was glad. I said, was not sad. Hallelujah. Even in the pain, I'm still glad when they said unto me in the hurt. I'm still glad mm. when they said unto me, come, let us go into the house. Woo! of the lord oh, oh my god yes, yes, yes he is yes. worthy glory worthy. to god glory thank you jesus we bless his name on bless this morning uh oh, we thank bless you it's time for us to give and we're going to turn to the hands of our pastor god amen. bless you hallelujah amen, amen. thank oh, you I'm glad thank you when they said unto me yes lord come let us go to church yeah <laughs> ah come yes, on come on yes, come on yes, yes. amen yes, amen lord, and yes. we're here today just to go to church Hallelujah. amen whether it's on facebook whether it's on youtube whether it's on instagram we're Hallelujah. here to go to church yes lord amen yes. and we're Hallelujah. going to glorify the lord in the beauty of holiness for god has blessed us one more time <laughs> to lift up the name of jesus christ for god <laughs> is worthy of all the praise and all the glory and all the honor it all belongs to him and certainly we want to take this time out and be a blessing to the ministry that god has blessed us with amen in the name of jesus christ i want you to sow your tithes and your offering today amen to be a blessing and giving today amen there's ways that you can give to this ministry amen ways yeah. that you can give to this ministry, you can go by doing it by cash app, dollar sign, RT, cogent, amen, amen, dollar sign, RT, 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 amen, dollar sign, RT, COGIC. That's it. Amen. You can go to cogent.org and click on the page, and you can be a blessing and give it in that manner also. Also, you can mail your tithes and your offering to 5407 75th Avenue, Landham, Maryland, 20706. Amen. Restoration Temple. We praise and worship God. Amen. As you prepare to give, amen, to be a blessing in giving. It's better to give than to sacrifice. Amen. And we yes. praise and worship God as we share this morning in our giving time. Amen. This is the time that we give back to god amen amen i heard the script i heard the preacher used to say you can't beat god's giving no matter how you try but the more you give he'll give it back to you press down shaking together running over men give unto your bosom amen and we want to be a blessing in giving amen as we support this ministry and what the lord is doing in these last and evil day. I don't know about you, yes. but I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad to be a supporter of God's, amen, amen, amen. I'm glad to be a supporter of God, yes. amen, because it makes it, makes it say that I am obligated to God. But then it turns around and lets God know he's obligated to be a blessing to me because he said he'll bless you, press down, Shake it together, run it over when men give unto your bosom. And we praise and worship God today, how he has blessed us, amen, to sow this morning. And I want you to sow, amen, sow into the ministry in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Also, I want my partners, I want my partners to let you know, amen, I am truly blessed by you being a supporter of this ministry. My 2152 partners. My 2152, please don't forget, every Sunday, sow that seed of $21 for the next 52 Sundays and watch God do the marvelous things for you. Hallelujah. I want to put your name on my plaque that you are a partner with the 2152. Amen. My RT 2152. 
I want to put your name on my plaque. And please do that. Help pastor, amen, accomplish the goal that God has blessed us to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Would you pray with me this morning as we pray, as you're giving, as you're sowing, type in the chat, I'm sowing, pastor, I'm sowing. Amen, type in the chat, I'm giving, I'm giving. Hallelujah. God, our Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As we sow our seeds today, God, as we sow our commitment today, as we take part in the 2152, God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you bless it right now, God. Touch it right now, God. You said you said no good thing would you withhold from us. If we walk up right before you, if we trust you, if we depend on you, we lean on your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. Oh, God, as we sow today, God, we sow in obedience to you, God, believing that you are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your support. Amen. Thank you for your blessing today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for our pastor. We appreciate Amen. our pastor. This is also Pastoral Sunday, so I got to put a little plug in for our pastor. He's not only my hus- my, my, my husband, but he's my pastor. I serve Amen. as an evangelist and so many other capacities at Restoration Temple Church yes, of God Lord. in Christ. And R.T. Yes, Cody, oh, yeah, yeah. I see you in the service on today and our friends. Can you put a little extra in your offerings on today to Archie Cogent to be a blessing to our pastor? Yes, Even in this pandemic, this man of God has been faithfully, amen, drenching himself and watering himself in prayer in the word of the Lord to feed the flock, yes, not Lord. just at RT Kojic, but even on Hallelujah. social media, lives have been changed, lives have been saved, yes, lives yes, have been yes. redeemed through mm-hmm. this man of God. Have lives redeemed. have been encouraged, lives have been rebuilt, mm-hmm. amen, through this man mm-hmm. of God. Hallelujah, we thank God for you, so mm-hmm. if you can put a little extra in there for our pastor today, we will be most appreciative on that today, amen. amen. And we are preparing ourselves Amen. To receive a word of the Lord yes, from past the person on today. And this song, I pray that this music ministry will bless you. Bread of yeah. heaven, feed me to I want amen. no more. Praise and after that, we want you to say a hearty amen, amen to past the person after the ministry of music. Amen. 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 On today. Thank you, Jesus. Right Bread of heaven. Fill our cup in the name of Jesus. Fill it, Jesus. I lift it up. Come and quench. Let's go. Sing up my soul. Here's my cup. Here's my cup. Fill it up. Fill it up. 
Amen. Come on, type in the chat. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You know, when the pastor comes, they said they should be standing for the pastor. But I just want you to just type in chat. Amen, pastor. Amen. Certainly, I want to take this time out to amen to uh, pay my condolences as well as uh, one of our uh, pioneer mothers. Amen. Our saintly, one of our saintly mothers, our saintly mothers have gone on to be with the Lord, and he was able to funeralize her, amen, on Friday, amen, amen, at the 11 o'clock hour, amen, down in, um, amen, down in Orlando, Florida, amen, and mother, 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 doctor, doctor, mother, Joanne Robinson, amen, she was a woman of wisdom, a woman of understanding, a woman that can teach and can tell the story, as it is, she was the evangelist person's uh, one of uh, evangelist person's second, amen, mama, amen. You know, evangelist person grew up in Florida for 10 long years, stayed in Florida for 10 long years, and she got it connected to Dr. Joanne Robinson. And certainly, we went down to celebrate, amen, and to pay our tribute. And she was also not just, not just evangelist person's second mother, but she was under watch care here at Restoration Temple, yeah. amen, when she relocated to Charlottesville, Virginia, yeah. and we praise and worship God for her life, her legacy, and her remembrance of all the nuggets and all the things that she shared with us. I just want to take this time out to share the picture, amen, of mother, Dr. Joanne Robinson, I should have had it uploaded on the system, but I just want to share with you today, Dr. Joanne Robinson. And I certainly want to let the her, her sons know, as well as her daughters, know that we here at Restoration Temple will continue to pray for them, that God will continue to strengthen them in this time. So I encourage you, I encourage you, amen, because of Evangelist person's connection with Dr. Joanne Robinson, that you would take time out to send your condolences and let let the evangelist person know that you're praying for. Amen. Not only evangelist person, but we have our moments. Amen. Because I can recall some things when I first started my ministry. She plugged into me. She said, Wesley, let the Lord use you. Let the Lord do what he said he won't do with you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I ask that you continue, amen, to pray for our family, pray for our church, because we lost a saintly mother. Even though she's under watch care, but we lost a saintly mother. Amen, a mother of great, all oh, love and compassion. Hallelujah, glory be to God. If you met her, you would love her even more. Amen, because she always has something to share with us. Amen. And we praise and worship God Amen. in the beauty of holiness. Yes. Thank you. I just wanted to share that this morning because, amen, amen, as I thought about Dr. Joanne Robinson, yes. if I thought about her on this week, this weekend, I began to think about the things that she had done for our ministry. Yes, yes. And she could, and she could, yes. and she could prepare uh, a meal out of anything. Yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna kid you, but she could prepare a meal out of anything. Yeah. And so I want you to let you know that God is still in the blessing business, <laughs> and I praise and worship God amen. in the beauty of holiness for allowing us to Amen to be a part you, of Dr. Joanne Robinson's life and legacy and her future to, and her future. Amen. Because we are part of her future Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Would you allow me this morning just to preach just a little bit this morning? I just want to preach just a little bit this morning, but the Lord has blessed me to preach this morning. I went to the book of Jonah today and Jonah began to speak to me the day and began to talk to me and began to share uh, some insights with me about some things that are going on in life. 
And so I began to look at the book of Jonah because Jonah begins to give us some great insight about how our society is and what's going on in our society. I start this, I start this off because I want to start off with St. John chapter 3, verse 16. You know St. John chapter 3, verse 16, one of my favorite verses. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believe him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I start that off because I want you to understand the essence of Jonah and the word that Jonah was trying to share with us today that we may be blessed. If you don't mind this morning, I just want to preach a word to encourage your heart. As the evangelist person had read from Jonah chapter 1, verses 4, and we know the story of Jonah. We heard about Jonah, how Jonah was in a land, and Jonah grew up in the land, and Jonah was upset with the Ninevites because the Ninevites was doing things to destroy their country and to destroy the, the, the memory and destroy the essence of God. So I stopped by today to tell you, amen, running against God. Oh, come on, Pastor, what you mean by running against God? What caused people to be angry with God? Uh, oh, my, 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 my. And certainly you have a lot of people who have, who have been angry with God on uh, 2020. Oh, my God. They have seen people have died and seen people, things have happened and seen things have taken place uh, in the minds and emotion and in the hearts, in the souls of life. But yet we still run against God. Mm. Mm. How is it possible to obey God? And still sin and grin. Oh, we still running against God. Oh my God, my God. I'm I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking to you this morning. I'm talking this morning. I'm talking this morning. Because it's hard to believe what God is about to do and, and how God is going to bless us today. Why well, it's important to have a good attitude when we obey God. Oh, God, we need to obey him. We need to obey him. We need to lean, not to our own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and, and allow him to direct our path. Oh, my, 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 my. And so this morning I want to talk about running against God. Uh, Jonah was a, a, was, a, was a prophet on the run, always trying to run, always trying to get somewhere else, always trying to go. Oh, I, I, I heard, a, heard a young lady uh, encourage hope on, 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 on Friday, on Thursday, encourage hope. Oh, you're going to be a track star. You're going to be a run. She said she got some long legs. And certainly, certainly when you got long legs, they expect you to run. They expect you to, to run and be a track star. But I praise God today that, that Jonah was running against God. No, 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 not running with God, but he was running against God. And when you run against God, when you run against the promises of God, when you run against the ability that God wants you to do, stop running, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. Even Moses told the people to stand still and see God move. Stand still and see God uh, do things. Well, there was a reason. Evangelist person. That Jonah was running against God. Well, we might have a different view of Jonah if the book bears his name ending with chapter 3. However, God presents the Bible character to us, war and all. In chapter 4, it revealed that Jonah went to Nineveh reluctantly. And when God spared Nineveh, Jonah was angry. And God did not stop teaching Jonah, nor will God stop teaching us when we are not willing to listen. God will go on to great lengths to get our what? Attention. 
And so Jonah was angry. Amen. This person, he was upset. He was frustrated. He was, he was, he was, he was, he was characterized as being a man that was mad at God. And sometimes we can get mad at God and don't know why we mad at God. But I stopped by to tell you today, don't get angry with God. Even though Jonah shows us the ability that he was angry with God, because in Jonah chapter 3, verse 10, when Nineveh repented or turned away from its sin, God repented or reluctantly. And remember that we are seeing things from man's perspective. It appears that God, what, changed his mind. And God will change his mind if you allow him. But yet, even while God is changing his mind, church, Nineveh was upset. He was angry at God changing his mind. We, when men, when, when man repents, he is sorry for his sins. But when God repent or reluctantly, he has no sin to be worried for. Instead, his promise or condition. When man keeps up his end of the conditional promise, God keeps his up. And certain in Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 7 to 10, it shows us that God will keep his promise. God will never leave us, nor forsake us. He'll stand right there beside us. And so man is not a promise keeper, but God is a promise keeper. Well, in verse 4 and 1, um, Jonah had delivered a message to the people he probably hated because of their nationality and because of their violent and cruel they have been to the Israelites. And when God said that he would spare Nineveh, Jonah was greatly displeased and became upset, became frustrated, became angry at God. And sometimes when, when things happen in your life, you can become angry, you can become frustrated, you can become upset because you don't understand the plan of God. And sometimes we do not understand the plan of God. I wish y'all would type in the chat. I need to understand the plan of God. I need to understand the plan of God. And certainly this morning, I need to understand how God has orchestrated his plan for our life. Sometimes we don't understand. Sometimes we can't see. Sometimes our vision is blurry. Sometimes I'll, I, you know, you know, when I, when I, when I take my glasses off, I have a blurry vision. But when I put my glasses on, I can see clearly now. Oh, they say I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. But sometimes our vision is blurry because we are not looking through the eyes of God. And if we look through the eyes of God, things will happen. Things will happen. In fact, one crispy said the heart of every problem is the problem in the heart. And that where Jonah's problem is, where, where Jonah's problem is where to be found is in the heart. Jonah had a heart problem. Because these people was mean. These people, the Ninevites was mean. They was cantankerous. They didn't have no, they didn't have no, they didn't have no love for God at all. And Jonah wanted to see them strike off the face of the earth. Not so. Not so. I started off with John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whoso believe him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And so I share with you today, I share with you today, you cannot run against God. Jonah 2 says that Jonah didn't 
want to go to Nineveh for the very reason God sent him to Nineveh. All his attributes Jonah didn't want to show to those he detested. And, the, and, 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 and their lesson here to us, we must go. Even though we don't like somebody, we must go and still proclaim Jesus as our way maker. Jesus as our provider. Jesus as our friend. We must go tell the dying men, women, boys, and girls that the way to sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Jonah was angry. In other words, Jonah is saying, if you are not going to do anything my way, I'm going I, I, my way. I don't want any part of it. Jonah wanted to rebel against God and let him know he didn't want no part of this thing. He didn't want them to be saved. He didn't want them to be delivered. He didn't want them to see. So Jonah wanted to do what? Run away. He wanted to run against God. He wanted to take off and leave. Amen. Amen. Jonah was angry. He was upset. He was upset. Sometimes we get upset. Sometimes we get frustrated. Sometimes we get tired. God knows I know I do sometimes. Sometimes on our jobs, people get on our first, our second, our third nerves. Sometimes we, we, don't, we, we don't want to be bothered with people. Come on, somebody. But God said, no, no. You might not want to be bothered with them, but I need them. To come full circle. I need them to know that I love them. I need to know that I, I need them to know that I care for them. I need them to know that I would never leave them nor forsake them. I need them to know that I'm with them always, even until the end of the year. And so, so so in verse four, it says, if God were human, he would have accommodated Jonah and punished him. But Jonah was a work in progress. Let us remember, every believer is a work in progress. Every sinner is a work in progress. Uh, every unbeliever needs to become a work in progress. You need to come to know Jesus. It's your personal seat. And instead of giving Jonah his request or yelling at him, God asks a simple question. Think about it. Think about it. Why was Jonah wrong to be angry? Listen here. Let me tell you God's objective lesson he gave to Jonah. His object lesson he gave to Jonah. In, in Jonah chapter 3, verse 5 to 8, instead of repenting, evidently Jonah was hoping God would change his mind. Instead of the activity of loving, helping, and encouraging his enemy, he was rooted for judgment. I wonder if this attitude keeps us from witnessing to or encouraging people or people or groups that we don't care for. Eventually, you know, we 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 see this movement of this this hatred movement, how people are treating other nationality. Yeah. But it's our job, as God is sharing with us today, that we learn how to treat one another. Hallelujah. Yes. That we learn how to what love one another. It doesn't matter what color, what racial, what, what, what creed we are, but we got to learn how to love one another, treating each other to, to love each other. Oh, glory. We don't want to see our generation of what they call the Generation X, our younger generation lost. We, we, so so it's, us, it's us as old, what they call seasoned people. 
to still share and to still incite the word of God in them. Don't run against God. God is looking for young people to be saved. God is looking for young people to be delivered. Isn't that right, Hope? God is looking for all of us to be delivered. Glory be to God. Eventually, in, in, in eventually, the shade that Jonah had from his shelter was not a, adequate enough. God provided a groan and a plant to provide a shade for Jonah. And notice God did not stop reaching out, teaching Jonah about himself. Jonah didn't deserve mercy any more than Nineveh deserted mercy. But in verse 7 and 8 of uh, Jonah chapter 3, it says, And first of all, the plant was destroyed very quickly by the worm. Then God turned on the wind and the heat on Jonah. And Jonah was ready to die against because of the intensified suffering. The, the object lesson that Jonah that set Jonah up for his application to happen. And certainly God has an application for us today. Why we don't want to go and do something. Why we don't want to do the things that God has called us. Yet God shows us, stop running. Stop running. Our God's, God's lesson application to Jonah is in Jonah chapter 4, verse 9 and 11. And God asked Jonah if he had the right to be angry about that plan. And Jonah cared about the, the credit condition, the comfort then please God for helping those in spiritual needs to ensure that God, that he did. Now Jonah put, now God put Jonah in his place. He cared more about his own well-being than doing God's will and helping people that desperately need God's grace. Come on now, we all need God's grace. And we need to reach out and help people that needs his grace. And certainly, 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 certainly God cares more about the creation, the creature than the creation. Nah, he cares more about 600,000 million people. But he also cares about the animals. He also cares about everything else. Even though God cares about you and shot God shows us in his application how he care about each and one of us consider these three verses that I have uh, written down for your understanding amen he says for I have no pleasure in dwelling of him that dies said the Lord God Where, wherefore turn yourself and live ye. Romans 5 and 6 and 9. For when ye were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the what? Ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man that will one die. Yet pre have for a good man, one have even dared to die. But God commend his love towards us. While we were yet sinners, yes. Christ died for us Amen. much more than now. Justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath to him. And certainly, 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 Second Timothy, First Timothy chapter 2 says, I exhort you, therefore, first of all, suffocation, prayer, and intercession. Giving thanks of God, be made of all men for the kingdom and for all that are authority, that we may lead, lead a quiet and peaceful life in all goodness and honest. For this is good and acceptable in the what sight of the Lord, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to have unto knowledge of the what? Truth. For there is one God, one mediator between God and men, 
and the man and the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all of us to be justified in due time. I stopped by to tell you this morning, this afternoon, you can't run from God. You can't run from God. Stop hiding in the corner. Stop hiding in dark places. Stop, 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 stop running from God. God has called you to come out of sin. God has called you to come out of your selfish ways. God has called you to come out the things that you was doing. For you cannot and will not. For God showed Jonah that even though Nineveh was a wicked city, even though Nineveh was not doing right, God still showed Nineveh mercy. God still showed Nineveh grace. God still showed Nineveh kindness and love for one another. I stopped by to tell you today, you can't run against God. You cannot run against God because God has called you in these last and evil days. So we are challenged today to go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always even unto the end of the world. A good question we ask ourselves today, if I, if, if my, is, is my Christianity social or psychoficial? Isn't that powerful? Yes. Is my, ask yourself that question. Is my Christianity social or psychoficial? Three chords, three, three codes, three codes of, uh, Christian values is generosity, courage, and love. Generosity is, this is the core of the Christian value of kind of unselfish, especially with, uh, with our money and our time. We are unselfish about doing. Courage, the value of character, characterized by boldness and confidence that I have the confidence to do the will of God in these last and evil days. And certainly we want to make sure that our Christianity is not social, but it's more sacrificial. And I don't mind sacrificing the things to do the will of God, to do the things that I must do, that God has called me to do in these last and evil days. And that's to tell dying men, women, and boys and girls that the ways of sin is still down but to get to God's eternal life. No, 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 no. I don't come on social media. I don't come on Facebook. I don't come on YouTube. I don't come on Instagram. But I want to come on these platforms today to minister the word of God to you, to let you know that even in this social movement, even in this social movement, even in this society that we're living in today, is our job. It's our job to take these platforms and use them for the will of God to do the work that God has called us to do. And Jonah, what would it took a three-day journey for Jonah to get to Nineveh? Took him only one day after God got his attention. And when God got get your attention, you got to become more sacrificed to do the will of God. But, the, but but thirdly, I want to let you know that his love is the fundamental character of who God is. And what is the value of that is? They strive as his children as well done. Thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up and I'll make you ruler over many. And so, 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 so Galatians 2 and 20 says, Galatians 2 and and 20 says, hallelujah, 
I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whose obedience shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's why God loves you so much. He loves you, church. He loves you, people. He loves, he loves, he loves, he loves, he loves the sinner man. He loves you. And he wants you to turn from your wicked ways. You can't continue to live in sin. Come on now. No. You cannot continue. You must trust God. Depend on God. Lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. I don't know about you. I don't know if you saved today. I don't know if you know Jesus, your pardon of your sin. I don't know if he had come into your life. But this is your hour. This is your moment. This is your minute. This is your second. To make Jesus your choice. I, I, I feel that our status of changing to sacrifice our life for you. Because Jesus sacrificed his life for us. Why don't you do likewise? Why don't you sacrifice your life and follow Jesus and do the things that God has called you to do Amen. in these last and evil days? For God is our way maker. Mm -hmm. God is our provider. Yes. And he's our friend. I don't know about you. I'm not going to run no more. I'm not running no more. For God, I'm not running against you. I'm running towards you. I'm running towards you, God. Hide me in your hands. Hold me close. Oh, God, I'm running towards you because I'm trusting you. I'm depending on you. Hide me in your pavilion. Cover me. E e Elijah, Elijah had to know that God was going to cover him. Well, he was running from Jezebel. He had to know that he had to know that God was going to cover him. And yet he was running from Jezebel. And as he was running from Jezebel, he kept on trusting and depending on God. He kept on leaning on God. He kept on holding on to God's unchanging hand. I don't care what you say today, what you do today, would you lean on to God? Jonah ran against Yah, but learned a great lesson. And apply that lesson for days to come. Will you apply the lesson? Amen. Today, the application. I won't run from God. I'll do the work that God has called me to do. Would you type in the chat? I'm following you, God. I'm following you. I'm following you, God. Well, type in chat. I'm running. I'm running with you, God. And I'm running for you, God. And I'm running to do the will of God in these last and evil days. Come on, evangelist person. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God for the word of the Lord that God has given <laughs> Pastor Person on today. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Blessing our souls. Talking about, mm. hallelujah, mm. Uh, running against God. Yes, Lord. Running against God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I love how he brought out about um, number one. He talked about Jonah's anger. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he he began to expound even even further. Hallelujah. When, when he talked about um, God's object lesson mm. and he further talked about God's lesson mm. application. And I love how when he was talking about the lesson application, how he brought out the three core Christian values. We mm. have many Christian values, but I love the three that he um, so profoundly brought out to us on today. Talking about generosity was one of the values he discussed. And then he talked about courage. And lastly, um, he talked about love. And in talking about love, amen, that brings us to our altar call. Because God is a God of love. 
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. For God so loved the world that Pastor brought out today. He loved us so much that he gave, he sacrificed his son for us on Calvary that we should all not perish, but have a right to the tree of life. Amen. And I extend that right to you on today because Jesus Christ, he's a gentleman. At the beginning he was, and at the end he shall be. And right now he is always will be a gentleman. He gives man a choice to choose, to be to live a life for him or not. Praise God. And I make an appeal to you on today that you will decide to make Jesus your choice. Amen. And, uh, you know, I found out in being in the way of evangelism that, yes, a lot of people, they want to know how to be saved. They just really don't know how on today. But I just want you to know that it is backed up in the word of God in Romans 10 and 9 that all you got to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God the Father has raised from the dead and you shall be saved. It's just simple as that. Amen. And for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I wish I could confess it for you, but I can't. You have to decide to make the Lord, hallelujah, a part of your life. And if you are that one, I want you to pray with me even now. Even now, I want you to pray with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I want you to say right now, Lord Jesus, forgive me. That's for Jonah had to come to a place of forgiveness because he had to do it the Lord's way because he was running against God. Amen. And when you are in a, a place of sin, you're running against God. Amen. And God is calling you by name on today. Hallelujah. Just repeat that for me, Lord Jesus. Forgive me all my sins. Mm. I believe that you died on the cross. And on the third day, God the Father raised me from the dead, raised Jesus from the dead. And right now, Lord Jesus, I open up the door of my heart and I receive you into my heart as my Lord and my personal Savior. And according to that prayer, you just prayed, hallelujah, you are welcome into the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, you have made that first step. Yes, of salvation. Yes, and we celebrate with you. Yes, that you're saying, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's our answer is yes, Lord. Yes, I surrender all to you. I surrender my will. I surrender my way to you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. All day, right now, Lord. It's a yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And we thank God for the decision that you have made yes, Lord. to walk in the newness of life, that you would not leave here this service the same way that you came. And there's one out there where you know that you have backslid. You know you don't turn away from God. Your mouth is unclean. Your ways are unclean. Come on, somebody. You have left God's standards. Mm. Your thoughts oh, are not right. They toss it. Mm. But God said, just come back to him on today, on the back. backslider. Come on back. We make the appeal. Come on. For you on today. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody's coming home now. Somebody's coming back home now. Somebody's coming home. Somebody's coming back home right now. Amen. They're tired of running. They didn't like the prodigal son. They like the prodigal son. He ran from his father. He left his father. He told father, give me my inheritance. Give me my inheritance. Let me go now. Let me go now. And the father gave it to him. And he went out and he squandered. Gave everything up. Gave everything up. And when he needed something the most, when he needed, he couldn't go to his friends. He couldn't go to anybody else. But yet he found himself. He found himself today. He found himself today. Coming back home to dad. And said, dad, forgive me. I'll be one of your servants. No, no, you don't have to do all this, Dad. I'll be one of your sons. But Dad forgave him, put a ring on his finger, gave him a robe, and had a big celebration for him. And certainly, 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 we can't run from God. We can't run against God's will. 
God's word and God's way. But we must trust God and depend on God. God would never leave us. He would never forsake us. He'll be right there with us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, somebody's coming home right now. Somebody's coming home right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. If you that one, if you that one, type in the text, I'm coming home, Pastor. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm trusting God. I'm depending on God. I'm turning my life over to him. You haven't been doing what you need to do. Turn it over to God. And let God lead and direct you. Oh, Jonah. Jonah had to learn. Had to learn the hard way. But he did. And that's what God did. He forgave Jonah. Taught Jonah a lesson. Amen. And he also forgave what? Nineveh. And their country was saved. I don't know about you today. You want your household to be saved today. Too. You want your house to be delivered too. Why don't you make the first step? Glory be to God. Amen. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you on next week. Please don't forget to join us on Wednesday night for our Bible study. Amen. On Wednesday night for our Bible study. Please don't forget to join us on Wednesday night for our Bible study. And our Zoom conference is, is on the back, is on our, is on our screen. Also, you can go to rtkojit.org uh, and you can click on our Sunday school Bible Sunday school or our Bible school link. And it will direct you to our Zoom conference. And all you got to do is put in the password and you will be right in our Bible study. Amen. We're talking about the end time. We're talking about the end time. Please come on and join us and lend your thoughts and lend your comments to us. Amen. As we study God's holy and divine word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for being a part of our worship service in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have any questions, any comments that you'd like to call us, you can call us on our hotline. Amen. We call it the RT hotline, 240-906-7597. It's on the bottom of your screen. You can use that line anytime. You can call us after the broadcast or you can text us. Amen. 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 You can text us or you can call us. It doesn't matter. We still will receive your phone call, your message. And if you have a special prayer request on this week, Amen. Don't forget about our Tuesday. Amen. Our Tuesday noonday prayer service. Our Tuesday noonday prayer service. Amen. Come on. Come on. Join us on our conference line. Amen. For our Tuesday noonday prayer service. Also on our Facebook and our, uh, and our YouTube line. We are having prayer is going on. Amen. I thank God for our presiding bishop, the bishop, uh, Dr. John Drew Sheard. Amen. And we praise and worship God as we lift him up in prayer as he has started a 10-week consecration of fasting and prayer on Tuesdays and Fridays. Amen. Come on and join us for that. Amen. And then also he has uh, uh, the uh, General Assembly will be leading us out in prayer on this Tuesday and this Friday. Amen. And as our presiding bishop has a mandate that we, this is a God thing. This is a God thing. So we must do this in, in God. Amen. In God's time and in God's motivation and God's desire. And so we're learning that what God wants us to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we pray that God would bless us and keep us until we meet again. In Jesus name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Type in the comment text and amen. 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 God bless you until the next time. Bless you. Thank you for your support and your love. <laughs> For Restoration Temple. You came on praising them. We're going to go off praising them. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, Sister Gaston. Happy birthday, Sister Gaston. Yeah, that's my kingdom, Sister. God bless you, Sister Fabius. Amen. Another one of my kingdoms. 